Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to make this today. It's going to be a really quick tutorial. We're using Ultra Dynamic Sky, which is a paid asset. And we're also using a free auto material asset from Maui United. So we have interaction with the snow and we also have snow on the character itself. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just make a new project using the game animation sample. You don't have to use this. You can use any project you want, but I'm just going to do it in this. And then next, I have all of these in my library, but what you can do is go to the marketplace. So for auto material go to free and you should see this uh maui united mw landscape auto material should be free you can add this to the project and of course you're going to need ultra dynamic sky too so this is the only asset that we're going to be using that isn't free but honestly this is like the first asset that i ever bought for unreal and i use it in every single one of my projects i usually tell people when they ask me that i buy this on sale or should i buy it now this is one of those assets that i would usually say you can just buy this now it's one of the best assets i've ever had so anyway we can just add this to the project too and we can open up the project now the first thing we can do here is we can make a brand new level so we'll go to file click on new level and then you can open up any of these levels you can open up the open world if you want i'm gonna open up an empty level and in here we can go to content browser go to ultra dynamic sky blueprints and drag the ultra dynamic sky into here drag this put it into the level and we can add the ultra dynamic weather blueprint into here too i'm gonna just quickly remove the rain so we can see a little bit better to do this let's go to details and with ultra dynamic sky weather highlighted you can highlight it here in the outliner we can change the weather preset right here it should be on none you can just change this to, to clear skies and there's a bunch of things here that we can change to so we got foggy rain snow um sand storm stuff like that and now we can add a landscape so go to selected mode add landscape and you can import a height map in here and i'm sure you can find a few height maps I'm sure you can find some height maps here on YouTube or on Google or something like that. Uh, you can download these free height maps from Mute.Dev. You can download these free height maps or these free height maps here from Rainstorm Games. But I'm just going to create a map instead. And for the material, if we quickly go to landscape or material folder and then go to materials and click on landscape, then we can pick any one of these right here. Let me just pick this and add that to the material right here. And then once we click create, you can see we have our landscape and we zoom in You can see it's populated a little bit. With the height maps, it would be easier to do this stuff and it will probably look way better too, but we'll just do it like this. And then with the score tool enabled we can change the brush size a little bit and just let's just create some mountains you can see the landscape material being used here all right cool that's going to be fine you can put in a little bit more effort than i am here but i'm just doing this for the tutorial and then we can go back to selected mode let's go to the world settings and change this to the sandbox character and we can just play from here see that we have our landscape here with some foliage and stuff like that. There's a lot of properties or customizations that we can do with the landscape, by the way. If we just open up the landscape material and then you can see that we have a lot of properties here that we can change and play around with. And I'll leave an overview video of the landscape material made by the creator. He made a video showing you how to change some of these settings here. And now for the interactions with the snow and stuff like that. So if we go to the outliner, click on dynamic weather and change this to snow, for example, you can change this to snow you can see that like nothing's happened there's no snow on the ground or anything like that to add snow on the ground what we can do is you can open up the landscape material and then open up the parent material here drag this out a little bit and we can also go to ultra dynamic sky go to blueprints actually uh go to map sorry and then go to dynamic materials and then we can open up this landscape example material here and you can see what we have to add right here so this is the stuff that we're going to add onto our material right here so we can just copy this stuff this node the dynamic landscape material effect and there's a static ball here for wetness and snow and and the trails and stuff like that and we can just paste that into there and now all we need to do is just apply all of these um, functions right here into this uh, node. If you hold control, you can grab these wires and drag them in like this. So just drag the metallic, the base color, the metallic, specular, roughness, and normal. Drag them all like this. And we can drag this over here like this. Connect them up like this. Roughness and 
normal hit apply and as you can see we have snow now onto our level uh you probably can't tell too too much but there is snow on the level now and to test this out a little bit to make sure that we actually do have snow if we quickly go to the blueprints folder open up the sandbox character go to the viewport and add dlwe onto the mesh so drag it onto the mesh and we can duplicate this as well and then you can rename these as um left foot and right foot this is going to be the interactions for the snow this one right here here the first one we can parent this to the foot uh, left for example and, and reset the location and rotation you can see that that is now applied to the foot you can even drag this a little bit more down so it's actually on the heel of the foot for example something like that is fine and do the same thing for the other one now as well so put this one onto foot r let's drag this a little bit down and now we can test this out see if it's actually working As you see, we have interactions with the snow. It looks pretty cool. And I think we can change things up too if we go to dynamic weather and let's search for snow. I'm sure that there's a lot of properties here that we can change in terms of the interaction. Interaction, render target, the scale, scattering. There's so much that we can do here. Test it out for yourself. Now, one more thing that we can do is actually add the snow material onto the character too. So if we go to the mesh, and open up the material for the character. Okay, so what we can do is if you search for snow and dust weather effect, and we can also add the wet weather effect too, even though I'm not gonna be showcasing it in this, but it's basically just, all you have to do is just change the dynamic weather preset from snow to wet and it'll, it'll do it all for you. You can just connect these up like this. So the snow to the wet, just connect them up like this, the base roughness and normal. And we can do the same thing for our material here. So our UEFN material, just drag the base onto the base and drag the normal onto the normal then drag this over here to the side we can convert this to use material attributes and we can also change this to masked also we need to make material attributes connect the base to the base roughness normal I think that's all we need right there and then just connect this to this and we're not done quite yet we still need to do one more well, two more things first let's get a static static ball the value is going to be true and we connect this to the apply dripping effect and if you hold the one key on your keyboard and left click you'll get this node right here we can connect this to the mask wetness and you can play around with this value but one is going to be like the full range of wetness that your character is going to have and then zero is going to be like no wetness basically and we can do the same thing here for the mask coverage of the snow so hold one and i'm going to put this something I'll, I'll leave it at one for now and then i'll show you what it looks like if i put it down a little bit and put that into there compile and if we play this you can see we <laughs> The character's fully covered in snow and then we can just change this up a little bit like 0.5 for example uh, i think we need to press apply okay he's still kind of covered a little bit let's see what 0.1 is going to do if we can actually see a difference yeah okay cool so this is 0.1 as you can see there's a tiny bit of snow right there i don't know if you can see it let's put this at 0 0.3 maybe hit apply always forget to hit apply okay yeah that's better and that's pretty much it. Hopefully you liked the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.